With types 190 and 190E, Mercedes sent the first generation of compact sedans into series production in 1982. Right from the start, the little Baby Benz was a sales hit. The 201 series has quickly become a constant part of the sales program, and besides, is among the most successful Mercedes-Benz passenger car series of all. The newly configured rear axle alignment of the W201 has positive effects to the overall driving experience. Consistent weight reduction and an aerodynamically optimized body also add to the already reduced fuel consumption. But considered to be the most spectacular of all technical novelties is the multi-link rear suspension. Each rear wheel is guided by five independent steering arms. This way, undesired movements are avoided. The brake is an exception. As the first Mercedes-Benz passenger car since 1968, the compact car is equipped with a conventional handbrake. The usual version in the footwell must make way. Both models are powered by a two-liter four-cylinder engine. The newly engineered fuel injection of the 190E boosts a handsome 122 horsepower. The four-cylinder engine of the parallel introduced 190D generating 72 horsepower is the forerunner of a new generation of high-performance diesel engines. Despite its compact outer appearance, the 190's interior is spacious and comfortable suitable for long journeys. The Baby Benz Mercedes family pedigree is evident in the sweeping inner design and the selection of materials. In terms of safety, the compact sedan is equal to the S-Class, despite lesser deformation paths. This is secured by the fork structure of the front section. Furthermore, the W201 fulfills the criteria for asymmetrical frontal impact. The 201 series is cherished and pampered like hardly any other. First, in 1983, three new models supplemented the type program. The top model of the range was the 190E 2.3 generating 185 horsepower and carrying the characteristic wing spoiler on the rear trunk lid. It could already boast of racing success long before its official premiere. 22 Uhr der Start. Noch liegt das Ziel 9 Nächte und 8 Tage weit entfernt. Immer mit Höchstgeschwindigkeit rund um die Uhr und ohne Pannen geht es über 25.000 Kilometer, 25.000 Meilen und über 50.000 Kilometer. Das Ergebnis dieser strapaziösen Langstreckenfahrt, drei neue Weltrekorde über Distanzen von 25.000 Kilometer, 25.000 Meilen und 50.000 Kilometer, dazu zwölf internationale Klassenrekorde. Außerdem der 13., 14. und 15. Weltrekord für Mercedes-Benz-Fahrzeuge seit 1976. The next sensation followed only two years later the 190E 2.6 with a sumptuous 2.6 liter engine. The 190D 2.5 turbo rounded off the model range in 1987. Its five cylinder turbo diesel churned out 122 horsepower. In 1988, the range was thoroughly redone again and the 190E 2.5-16 was introduced. The 
update served as a technical base for the race touring cars of Group A that were entered into the German Touring Car Championship. In 1989, the Type 190E 2.516 Evolution served as a homologation special for racing. Exactly 502 units were built, furnished in blue-black metallic, and delivered to choice customers. The modified versions from 1990 are recognizable by their lateral protection strips. Front and rear aprons are lowered and have voluminous bumpers attached to them. Additionally, a new high-end vehicle joins the range. Type 190E 2.516 Evolution 2. Just like its predecessor, dubbed EVO 1, 505 units of the EVO 2 were built. Its aggressive appearance with big front spoilers, widened fenders, and giant rear spoilers visually alludes to its high potency of 234 horsepower. A last model makeover in 1991 added the ABS to the compact class's standard equipment. These latest model variants can be identified by outer mirror casings lacquered in the car's color. In 1993, the Mercedes plant in Zindelfingen shut down production. A total of 1,879,629 units of the popular 190 had left the assembly line.